Well, you know, in describing the compound pivot, I think this is probably the best uh, word picture or illustration we have is concerning drills. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you put a shift and a turn together and you also blend the body motions together much easier to create a lot more discipline for the movements and the path of your body. Now what I want you to do is just imagine I'm standing right in the middle of a large clock and for reference points that golf court that golf ball is going to be 12 o'clock and then obviously directly behind me would be six o'clock and then we would go one two three four five six seven eight and so on and so forth. Now what happens in a golf swing we stand when we when we take our stance we're on what we call a two foot balance and so the 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 way my body works is just imagine the four o'clock position and the ten o'clock position my spine or the lower part of it actually moves to the right and to the left but it doesn't go from three to nine that would be a sway what we do is we go from as i as i shift my weight from a two foot balance to a one foot balance i go to what we call the four o'clock position my spine goes to four o'clock boom and that allows my right leg to be set in a real strong position and it also helps me maintain the elevation of my chin. Now as I go to four, now what happens on the, on the downswing is a couple things. This allows you to shift and turn. Now when I come back to the ball, the lower part of the bottom of my spine works to 10 o'clock. See I work from four on the backswing to 10 on the through swing. This allows my center of gravity to be moving the weight that my weight shifts. Now as I shift my weight, to that 10 o'clock positions at impact I want my shoulders see the lower parts going to that 10 o'clock position but I want my shoulders at what we call the 1 7 position so we go from 4 to 10 but my shoulders at impact see to hit it off the side we want it at that 1 7 real simple little thing to practice but what that is is that's a compound pivot that's a shift and a turn so pretty simple look I start off on a two foot balance I shift to that four o'clock position. Now that's a one foot balance. And as I come back through the ball, I briskly get off that right foot, elevate the right foot and swing it over the toe. And the spine, look, when my spine points to that left heel right there, as I get to right there, see then I turn and we get to that one seven position. And then obviously you come on up, the head's still there until the right shoulder brings it up and you're in perfect balance like this. Now I've got a little five iron right here. Here's what I'm gonna do is, We'll take it from this viewpoint, just watch what my body does. And this allows me to have a tremendous turning action right back into the ball. We set her up, we just go from four to 10 to one to seven. 